So here, you should have the front end. It should look something similar to this. Now, what we're going to do is browse to our test bed level, the one we just made. So go to your development source, content patches. Okay, so after that's run, we're going to launch it on PC. So if you were to choose on PC in the editor, this is how it would um, appear. So click launch. This will start up our custom game with the test bed level loaded. Looks like we have a problem. Hmm. All right. So it seems it does not want to load it from our custom content folder. So to get around this, go to our mod directory, copy this over, copy the test bed. Okay. Go to UT game content maps and paste it here now let's try this again maps test bed let's launch again all right as you can see it worked this time now that was just an example of how picky Unreal gets in everything from the script names, um, naming schemes um, to where your map location and script locations are. So you should have something like this. Now if you try to close it, you'll notice pressing escape doesn't do anything. This is because we, we don't have um, our game type, our custom game, knowing how to handle escape. So press the tab key, type in exit. This will exit our game. Now, next thing, if you had a map with multiple um, shaders, or if you have multiple maps, you want to cook your maps. This will get all the assets ready and um, compressed to where you can ship it easily with your game. So, I'm just going to show you how to make a map list and import it, but I'm not going to cook it, just because our level is just a blank test bed. So we let's go back to our content maps folder inside the Uteen game directory and let's make a new text file and name it map list. Now the next part's simple. We just open up that text file and list out the maps we want. So examples would be testbed.udk and example map.udk. You would just save this go to import map list and just click click um, the map list and you'll notice our maps to cook change to our maps now if you were to cook this <coughs> it would take some time so we're not gonna cook it now before you package a game you always want to make sure to make now this will compile all scripts to and it will make sure that any changes we did make that we forgot about will be compiled into our game so press make now you see we didn't have anything changed so we succeeded in our make now finally we're gonna package our game so click package game and let's name it that sounds good to me but let's name our long name our awesome game and game name awesome game or let's give it a more reasonable title death touch game and let's name this Death Touch. Package the game. And now um, UDK will begin to package our game as a setup file. <coughs> so, as you notice, um, UDK pops up a dialog and it starts showing you everything it's packaging and every asset your, your game used.
So we're almost done. Right now it's putting the final zip into our installer. All right, so there we go. Our installer is now inside our UDK directory. Now if we check, there it is. UDK install deathtouch.exe. So that's it. That's how you make a bare project as well as um, create an install file. Um, now has an added, I want to show you how to change the splash screen because that seems to be one of the big topics on the forum. So that's very easy. You just go to UDK directory, UT game, splash, PC. Now right here, splash.bmp. So let's edit this. <coughs> One thing you're going to have to remember. Every splash, no matter how custom, has to include the UDK logo anywhere on the splash. Since we're just going to use the fault, we can just simply add a text and we'll just put death touch. Okay. So if you were to save this and then run it, run your game, this modified splash screen will appear. Now the splash screen could be any size, but please keep in mind to keep it a power of two. It's good practice and it it's less stress on your graphics card. Um, that's it for this tutorial. Um, be, look forward to more. A uh, shout out to Epic. Thanks for releasing the UDK to us. And I hope everyone now knows how to get started. And I hope to see some cool stuff from you guys. Peace.